what's up y'all toy here and i am back with another video for y'all all right i know y'all might have been wondering yo what happened to roadie you haven't posted any roadie videos in a while well i kind of got some bad news y'all now remember when i first was telling you guys how you can make a ton of money on roadie with the walmart deliveries like making this type of money right here well something happened y'all something happened look i don't know when this change occurred but these are the prices that you can get for doing those walmart deliveries now and um to be quite honest i ain't too happy about it we literally went from being able to make close to three sometimes four dollars a mile for these deliveries and now it's down to about a dollar fifty two dollars maybe a little bit more it just kind of depends now does this mean this is the end for roadie no 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 absolutely not this just means you're gonna have to get a little bit smarter about the deliveries that you pick up now personally i'm still gonna go ahead and put roadie over amazon any day of the week and that's simply because you already know what the route is up front so you can pick and choose whether or not you want to pick up that gig or not if i had the same opportunity for roadie and for amazon flex laid out to me where i could make the same amount of money within three hours i'm gonna lean more towards roadie and like i said that's just simply because i already know where i'm gonna go up front versus amazon yeah i might get some close to the warehouse or i might end up 30 or 40 miles away in indiana now there are other businesses is in the area that i could go ahead and potentially try to deliver for but i am still trying to weigh out my options to go ahead and see what works best for me i am still taking into consideration that pay to mileage ratio i want to make sure i'm getting paid for a decent amount of mileage that i'm putting on my car that's just me personally i know some people it may not be as big of a deal some people might be more concerned with how quickly they can finish a gig and like i said everybody has their preferences but that's just me so what does this mean for you guys now i've been watching roadie for a couple of weeks i pop in from time to time just to kind of see what types of gigs are being offered and to be quite honest you're probably going to be making the most bulk of your money if you have a large enough vehicle to pick up those extra large or those huge orders so if you have like a large van you got a box truck you know something that can hold those super super large items you can be out here making a killing right now i'm telling you because i've seen some gigs where you only got to drive like two or three miles and you can get paid like 40 50 bucks so to be quite honest that's where most of your money is going to be made if you have a large vehicle to accommodate those larger orders now for the rest of us that might have a sedan maybe an suv you might have to go ahead and pick up those smaller gigs and kind of start stacking them do a little multi-apping there is still money to be made out there like i said i was utilizing roadie specifically for those bulk walmart orders and yeah there's still going to be those times where i'm going to pick up a gig that makes sense for me when it comes to the pay to the mileage ratio i'm still going to do it it's not like i'm completely done with roadie no 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 still plenty money to be made trust me now keep in mind y'all we still got to do the offer system we got to submit our offer there's no guarantee that there's something that we're interested in is going to go to us so keep that in mind when you're trying to pick up these gigs my suggestion is here if there are some stores that have popped up that you've been interested in potentially delivering for keep an eye out on them and learn their schedules most of the time these gigs are going to be released roughly around the same time every day of course you might get some random ones that pop up in between but for the most part what i've noticed at least for those batch orders they pop up roughly around the same time so with me i learned that my walmart batch orders those always popped up roughly around 9 30 9 45 in the morning so i'm always looking at my phone looking at Rody, just waiting 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 and then as soon as i see the gig pop up boom submit the offer and then if I miss that window, sometimes there's another batch of orders that pop up about 30, 45 minutes after that. So around 10, 15, 10, 30, I'm back at it again, checking for gigs. And like I said, that's just something I learned from watching those stores, learning the schedules, knowing exactly when to look for them. And then when they pop up, boom, I can submit an offer. Like I said, guys, this is what I was doing for those batch orders. I'm hoping I can get some good ones for some good pay. But if all else fails, I'm still going to go for those single orders. You haven't seen me showcase any of those on the channel yet but more than likely you're probably going to be seeing them pretty soon because they are still super profitable obviously you prefer to get everything at once do your multiple deliveries and you have a big payout up front right but even those single deliveries they can start to add up you can go ahead and pick up a gig and maybe you only got to drive five miles or so but the payout is 12 bucks you might think man 12 dollars but keep in mind 12 dollars for five miles you already got two dollars per mile right there and nine times out of ten you could probably knock that out within 15 to 20 
20 minutes. If you go ahead and do that really quick, you can go back, open up your app, see if there's anything maybe in the area where you're at, or you can go back to the store and see if anything else pops up for you to pick up. So you can go ahead and still make a decent amount of money as long as you are utilizing the app in the best way possible. But yeah, guys, this was kind of like a short update. Like I said, I have been tracking this for a couple weeks now, and I just wanted to make sure that this was 100% accurate before I released any of this information to you guys. I definitely don't want to give you guys any inaccurate information. So was watching it for a bit, and it seemed like it's true. It seems like the, the Walmart order payouts, they, they have dropped. So, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and work around it. There's still plenty of money to be made out there. Also, guys, if you've noticed any payout changes for any of the gigs on Roadie in your area, let me know in the comments like I said I've only done the Walmart orders and I've done a handful of prescription orders so those are the only two that I really pay attention to but I am curious to know if they've changed the payouts on some of the other gig types because honestly I'm curious to know is it roadie as a whole or is it just Walmart but yeah guys that's really all I got for this video again this is more or less an update kind of letting you guys know what's been going on with roadie but yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always stay safe out there and keep grinding.